John Gill's exposition of the Bible text, and Aaron said unto Moses, Behold, this day have they offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, and such things have befallen me, and if I had eaten the sin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? Leviticus 10, 19, Commentary And Aaron said unto Moses, For what Moses had said was said in his presence, though not addressed to him directly, but to his sons, and he was sensible that he was pointed at, and that if there was any blame in this affair, it lay as much or more on him than on his sons, and therefore he takes it upon him to give an answer, and to excuse the fact as well as he could, Behold, this day they have offered their sin, offering, and their burnt offering before the Lord, that is, the people of Israel had brought a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb for burnt offering, and he and his sons assisting him, had offered them for them, even on the very day his two eldest sons were removed by death in an awful manner, and such things have befallen me, at this very time, soon after the above sacrifices were offered, happened the death of his two sons, which occasioned great anguish and distress, grief and sorrow, so that he could not eat of the sin offering, he had no appetite for it, and if he had, he thought in his present circumstances it would not have been right, as follows, and, if, I had eaten the sin, offering, today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? He being a mourner, the Jews say, an high priest may offer, being a mourner, but not eat, a common priest may neither offer nor eat, and which they illustrate by this passage, that Aaron offered and did not eat, but his sons did neither.